Hi everyone, this short video will introduce you to our Canvas course and also to the My Math Lab course. So let's take a look at the Canvas course materials first. When you first come into the course, you'll be on the course homepage. And this includes a link to the syllabus, also includes my contact information, the office hour that I'll be keeping for this class, and also the best way to contact me, which would be by email, or you can also use this phone number where you can call or text. From the left toolbar, it's important also to read that syllabus because you're going to do a syllabus quiz in the orientation module. There are several options from the left toolbar. There's a link to the syllabus again, same link that you have here. You can go to your grades. The modules for the course are located here. Uh, there's a link here to the My Math Lab course. We'll go back to that in a minute. Smart Thinking, Academic Success, Libraries Online, and also Honor Lock, and we'll talk about that again in just a moment. Let's take a look at the modules. So this course includes five topics, and there are several unit modules here. Um, we're gonna take a look first at the orientation module, which has important information to help you get started in the class. So this includes an or overview and a guide to the course. There's a checklist here, which is required for you to complete during the first couple days of the class, which includes a lot of important links in here. On, um, you're looking at the video here for this orientation or welcome to the course. There's also information on here in registering in the My Math Lab course, um, information on here about Honor Lock that we use in this course, um, and so forth. And, and there's a link to your syllabus quiz. And then also you can go right over to the first module uh, that we work on in the course. So it's real important for you to go through all the parts of this particular module. This module also includes your first discussion topic, which is introduce yourself also includes a page of Meet Your Instructor, which shows information about me in a short video that introduces you to me. So this is very important. Each of the, um, the courses, um, each unit includes a proctored exam, which is going to be taken using Honor Lock. And um, in order to get you started, I'm requiring you to take an Honor Lock sample test, which is located in the My Math Lab course. We're going to go there in a minute. Um, but you're going to click on here, Honor Lock, to take the exam and you, the, the Honor Lock will proctor it from Canvas, but it'll open up, you'll open up the sample test in My Math Lab. When you finish going through the ID check and the room scan, Honor Lock will insert the password for you into the exam. Um, so you want to get that done in order to be able to take the unit test because they're, it's required before you'll be able to access those. So this is really critical. Um, you're going to be using the textbook Thinking Mathematically 8th Edition by Blitzer, but we're not buying a textbook. We're using the e-text, and you're going to get that e-text through the My Math Lab course that I've set up that's linked to the Canvas course. So in order to register in that course, and hopefully you've purchased your access code from the bookstore, you're going to click on My Lab and Mastering right here. And then you're going to click on this little yellow bar here, which will open up the registration process. And I just want to point out on this page here, if you ever have any issues, you need to get help or support from Pearson, you can click here. If you forget your username or password, you can click there. We're going to click on this option here. And if you've never used Pearson before, the first thing they're going to ask you to do is agree to this user agreement. And it's really long. You're going to have to scroll all the way down. If you've used Pearson before, this may not come up. Um, but if you haven't, you're going to have to accept it. All right, so now on the next screen, you're going to have to log in. I've already entered my login information, but if you don't have an account, you're going to create it or else you're going to log in with an existing Pearson account. So I'm going to go ahead and click in. And down there, if you notice down there, below that, I don't think I can go back now, but it said um, if you wanted to create an account, you would have done it here. Here they want your country. I've never seen this before. Um, United States and your level of study and undergraduate. And I'm just going to stop this just for a second. I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. So now you're going to get a page that looks like this, and you have a couple options here. You can buy, if you already have your access code, you'll click here to um, enter the access code. Um, if you want to purchase an access code, you can purchase it here. You only need an 18-week code. You don't want a 24-month code. Just do an 18-week code. And then if you're waiting for, temp for financial aid, you can go ahead and you can click here to get temporary access code for 14 days. So there's three options from this screen. If you bought the access code from the bookstore, you're going to click here and a window will come up where you're going to put the access code in. If you haven't purchased it, you can purchase it here. Or you can do a temporary account good for 14 days, which I'm going to do right now because um, I'm going in as a, a, a demonstration student and I don't really need my own account. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I want temporary access. And I'm going to jump into the course now. And it's going to take a couple minutes to get the registration to go through. And then it'll come back and say, okay, we're good to go. 
and now it says you can go to the course. So I'm going to go to the course. All right, so now I'm in the course. All right, so when you first go in, you have a home page here, and I'm going to put this for two weeks, and I'm going to go ahead to get to the due dates that are in our course right now. So our course is starting in March, so you see you have assignment due dates here coming up on Sundays in the calendar. Let's walk through the cor course and see what we have. So if we go to, let's go to the e-content, e-text context. So this is where you get the e-text. So the whole e-text is right here. You can click on it, it'll open up the whole book electronically for you. Um, let's go back to the main menu. Um, if you do want to purchase a printed book, they usually have an option here to buy a printed book. It'll be a loose leaf book. They'll mail it to you. I don't know, it's usually about $55. There we go, $55. So if you wanted to do that, you could. Um, I don't require that. It's entirely up to you, but you do have that option here. Um, let's go to um, the uh, assignments page. So on the assignments page, all the course assignments are listed here. And um, you notice the due dates are listed here. And I wanted to pull up a problem. Uh, let's just go to one of the homework assignments. And I'll show you that within the homework assignments, you do have some question help. So if I go here and I look at this problem and I go, gee, I don't know how to do this. So I click here for get more help. So I've got help me solve it, which will help you solve this problem. When you're finished, it'll regenerate the problem and you'll have a different problem to work. If you do view an example, it'll do a similar example, but when you're finished, you'll go back to the original problem. You can also go to a video. Some of them have a video link to them. You can go to the section of the textbook where this is located, or you can send me an email that explains your question. It'll bring this question to me and you, you explain to me what you're having trouble with, and I will answer you um, in our course email system. All right, so let me shut that down here. I also wanted to point out on this assignments page, I did link to make the navigation a little bit easier for you for each section, the section of the textbook that we're covering. And then there's also the textbook provides a video for each learning outcome. So if you like to watch videos, these are all linked here. They're very short, um, but they might be helpful for you. They're not graded, uh, but they're just there in case you'd like to look at them. Okay, so let's just finish up um, uh, talking about the honor log. So let's go back again. And oh, let me go back to the assignments page first, point something out to you. Um, let's take a look at just tests. Oh. So each test, go look here. So you have to do a couple things here. You have to complete the homework in the section and you also have to submit this honor lock sample test. Now, if you click on that sample test here, it's going to say you have to put a password in, but honor lock is going to put the password in for you, which is why from our Canvas course, you're going to click on this honor lock option in order to take that sample test. So once you've done that, then the other tests will also show up here, but you need to take this honor lock sample test in order to unlock the other unit tests, which are so shown right here. And notice you get uh, two hours to take each one and you get two attempts. Once you start a unit test in honor lock, you must finish it. Once the timer starts, it will continue to go even if you go out of the test. And there is a proctored final for this course. It is optional. So since there are five unit tests, um, and if you do well on those, you don't need to take the proctored final since there'll be a total of six tests, including the proctored final. I will drop the lowest test grade. So if your five unit test grades are good, you don't need to take that proctored final exam. So I would shoot for getting good grades on the unit test. You get two ten attempts, and that would take a little pressure off at you at the end of the semester. The final exam is cumulative, so um, it will be you know covering the whole course. So I really urge you to keep up with your unit tests and do well, and therefore you'll have one less thing to worry about at the end of the semester. Also wanted to point out just real quickly on your discussion topics, I did put grading criteria into the discussion itself. So um, for each unit discussion, the directions are pretty simple. We're gonna share something you learned about what we're learning about and the grading criteria listed down here. And you have to respond to at least one classmate in order to get full credit for the discussion topics. So they're not difficult, um, but make sure you follow the grading criteria here. Um, so that you get the full points and they're worth 10% of your grade. The grading is explained in the syllabus 60% for the unit tests, 30% uh, for your homework, and 10% uh, for your um, discussion topics. So I think that um, you'll find this course fun and I look forward to working with you and having a great semester.